In today's video, we're going to be looking at the XLU sector and picking a few names to look at, AEP, PEG, and NEE. This sector had a lot of fun today. We're going to take a look at where we are in the daily time frame, the weekly time frame, see what the general shift of momentum is looking like, and then we'll check out the individual names. So first of all, let's check out XLU on the weekly time frame. This is setting up to be a quasi-equilibrium type play where we've got weekly higher lows and recently lower highs. So there is a bit of a tightening range that we can pay attention to and see if it, well, see if it develops any further and becomes something we want to pay more attention to on the weekly time frame. Inside this action, things tend to get a little bit turbulent and we'll take a look at that on the daily time frame. But we are trying to establish a weekly higher low. So if we can do that right here, great. We're going to have to close green. We're going to have to see a green week next week to lock that in. But it's a short-term temporary support. So as I said, we're in the middle of the equilibrium. Things can be a little bit, not volatile, but lack a certain direction as the switch from a low to high to high to low sort of takes place. Daily time frame, we see this big drop down almost into the abyss with a gap down. And now today it's a low. It's a current temporary support at 56.72. We treat this the same way as I talked about the, the weekly support. We need to see a green close to lock it in. Otherwise, you're just going to be looking for a downtrend on the hourly and four hour time frame. But this is the current for our daily support level. Below that, we do have a little bit of daily support at 55.91. We'll see if that matters as we approach that. But let's check out the four hour and see how we're looking here. Actually, I'm going to jump to the hourly because this is where things get a little bit interesting. So this is going to be our weekly higher low and our daily higher low. We're going to look for continuation. What we want to see is this hourly low hold. We're going to look for sustained consolidation at this point, And then we're going to look for a break above this key resistance at 58.41. If the hourly bulls can pull this off, and well, so far it's almost an hourly bull flag. If we can break 58.41 tomorrow and hold that area, that's going to lock in our four-hour candle. It's going to lock in our daily higher, our, our daily green candlestick, which is going to lock in that 56.72, which is going to be the first and probably most important aspect of possibly changing the daily trend into that weekly upswing, in which case our weekly higher low is caught. And we're going to be looking for a lower high and around, let's call it 60.96. So you see how all these things sort of play together. That's what we're looking for. On the 50 minute time frame, how do we look? Bulls look just fine. A nice, well, a loss of 50 minute higher lows and five minute higher lows. Maybe a 50 minute higher low here. Let's check it out on the five. Yeah, so that is a loss of five minute higher lows into 15 minute consolidation. Bulls setting the 50 minute higher low here. So we're going to be looking for a new high over top of the today's high day into upside continuation. Ultimately though, we want to break 5841. Let's check out our individual names on the daily time frame. Here we are. Look at this action. The candlesticks are a little bit clunky, and by clunky I mean we are just too close together. When I see red green red green red green with a little bit of up and down volatility, that tells me I need to check out another time frame for clarity. I'm going to go to the 4 hour time frame. And while we don't have a beautiful trend, we can see the swings back and forth a little bit more decisively. Now what I'm going to do at this point is try to box in most of this action. I'm going to try and find a, a rectangle or some sort of shape that just compensates and, and accommodates rather most of that action. So if I can use the bottoms of my reds, I will. That one doesn't really matter too much. I see more support at 77.30, 77.32. There's some clear resistance up here at 81.34, 81.28. We see the resistance over here as well. And then we've got a little bit above that right there. Four hour time frame, this is what I want to pay attention to. I want us to get outside of this action. Every time we see an hourly uptrend, we see a little bit of shift, we go back down. The hourly time frame is not really friendly for us for trading. It's all going to be about the four hour time frame. And can we get outside of this little box? If bulls can break out of this box, we're going to change the daily trend. We'll have resistance at 87.15. And if we break 77.30, then we have, well, even more support here than ultimately 76.23. Lose those. And uh, we're kind of in rough shape with our next daily support down at 71.20. In the very, very short term, on the 15 minute time frame, bulls have a very nice day. If we can get over top of 8065 resistance tomorrow, I think we're well on our way to testing the 8134 resistance. PEG, somewhat similar on the daily time frame. This big gap down has responded to pretty well. We have resistance at 5409. We got really close to that in today's action. 
was our high, 53.94. So what was that, about 20 cents away? Something like that. Very close, good volume. So we're gonna be looking at the hourly time frame for continuation. Here is that hourly uptrend, nice hourly consolidation with probably a four hour higher low. There it is, four hour higher low over 50.32. Now we're in an hourly bull flag. We're gonna be looking for continuation. And what we can try to do is plot out what that might look like. Here is our initial range. So if we broke bull right now, we would be looking for a phase three move on this particular ticker up until 55, 58. Let's see what that looks like and if it correlates well with any resistances in our neighborhood. Go back to the four hour time frame. And there is quite a bit of trading that takes place up here. So I would look for my first resistance and slowdown in the area 55 psychological. That was a high from September 9th. Anyway, all we know for sure is that we're shaping up for an hourly bull flag. The rest of it is speculation. Phase one is breakout. Phase two is our consolidation. Phase three would be the next leg of a possible bull flag. NEE on the daily time frame. Interesting little doji up here. Uh, if we ignore that, it's more or less a beautiful trend. Four hour time frame. There's a big move to the upside. What that does tell us is that there was some bullish intent. The volume was very low, but the profit taking was pretty immense. So that is interesting to see. Trying to find the time frame with the most clarity here. And you know what? On the hourly time frame, it's not even that clear. Four hour time frame is not that clear. All we can do really is try to box in most of the data. Or we just wait until a more definitive daily time frame presents itself, which I think would be the move. And we'll go right to the 15 minute time frame to get a, get a read on what's happening uh, on the 15 for NEE. Well, we do have a little bit of support, low of day, 27.52. We have five minute support right above there at $274.11. And unfortunately, we've given back our five minute uptrend in the latter part of the day, having a new high day at uh, 279.76. So again, not a lot of clarity here. We get a five minute uptrend, we get a five minute downtrend, we go to the 15 minute time frame. All we can hope to do is establish a 15 minute higher low right at the low of the afternoon drop. 275.27, break over 279.76, and then we will look for the big nasty cloud of ugliness, we'll call it. Bulls need to get over 281.99, the 282. If we can do that in the short term, I think we can establish an hourly range that is gonna take us back up to 304. Reject from that level, and in fact, we could go even lower than that. I think reject from 280.30, I think we're just gonna keep on doing this boring little dance that we have been doing here. It is a hunt for clarity on NEE. Not a lot is offered to us at this point. So if I had to pick from these tickers that we looked at, it certainly wouldn't be NEE for the trade. That is it for today, my friends. If you want to learn more about technical analysis, check out truckguys.com. Leave a comment in uh, the, well, in the old YouTubes, and I'll do my best to answer your question. And if this video was useful, please, please do consider subscribing and liking the video. I hate asking but it tr it helps tremendously with the old YouTube algorithm. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, and good luck to your trading tomorrow.